Hey guys, in this video we're going to be demonstrating how to speed farm Shenman. Um, we're going to be turn 1 OTKing it, which you can use to either just climb the ranks to level 99 if you want to go lazy mode. Um, you can also use this to farm red pearls, to farm tickets, or whatever else you want from the Fortuna rewards. So the units and gear for this is pretty specific, but you know I'm going to do a clear or two to demonstrate the clear, and then I will explain in detail why it works and show you the gear and all. So the boss preemptively ambushes with damage mitigation and 5 stack mirage. Uh, the damage mitigation can be dispelled, the mirage cannot be. So we're going to get rid of 1 stack of mirage from Carton's preemptive hit. There we go. Now we're going to use Kaito to buff the party with killers using Receding Tide, Swelling Current, and Pure Liquid Infusion. That buffs both the killers as well as Water Imbue and Water Amplify. We're going to use Yigni to four hands. We're going to Fruits of Research to perfect a spell, break the boss, buff himself, double calibration to get rid of the rest of the Mirage. This is a two-part skill, therefore it eats up all the Mirage. And we're going to Gemini Enchantment to buff the party's modifiers and share the stat buffs to the whole party. Now we're going to Frenzy. Esther is going to triple. We're going to Calm and double Bolting. We're going to LB with Kurosame and LB with base form Tifa. Tifa is going to go first, which is going to Water in Peril and Fist in Peril. And we got Great Sword in Peril from the, uh, the Leave it to Me card. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to send Tifa first, then we're going to cap um, with the three chainers. Kurosame's LB is triple bolting. So let's go ahead and do this. So the timing's a little bit wonky. You're going to have to work on it at the, at the training dummy. And when you click your bolting strike chainers, make sure you click Kurosame first. And there's our turn one OTK. The boss is, I think, 1.1 um, billion. Uh, we did 1.22, so we did a 10% you know, over cap. It is variance. We'll do one more clear, and then I will demonstrate the gear and all. So I'm personally going for either banner tick. Oh, we'll show the breakdown as well. So um, Carton, obviously the most important unit of all in um, turn one OTK content. Esther is um, a chainer, but she also auto buffs LB damage. We'll go over that more in a moment. Uh, Kurosame is just a generic chainer. Um, you can use any proper element chainer or finisher you want. And then Tifa is a little bit important because she's a good burster for one thing. But also she does the water in peril as well as the fist in peril for our carton. So I don't want any of this. Let's do one more clear and then I'll, I'll go into more detail explaining why this works. And then uh, I'll show you the gear and all. But, you know, the gear used is just the best you have. And I'll go over some potential unit swaps, but some of this stuff is pretty required. Alright, so wait for all this to finish. And one stack of Mirage gone. Do our buffers. Once the buffs all finish, we will do our chaining. Okay. And... Boom! Dead boss. Okay. And you can just use the repeat button to farm this. You know, the, the reason I like turn one OTK is you have 1.25. So we're comfortably overcapping by like 10, uh, 10 to 15%. And the reason I like turn one OTK is there's no reloading. I'm sorry, there's no um, unit swapping or whatever. No brave shifting required. You can just use the reload button literally every time. Carton rolled high that time. Um, yep. So here's the breakdown. So let's go into the specifics of why this works. All right, so let's show the team and specifically. Okay, so we're getting Water Imbue, Amplify, and both killers from Kaito. Kaito is sort of a big deal for that roll compression here. Um, Tifa is doing the Water in Peril and the Fist in Peril. Great Sword in Peril from the Leave It To Me card. If you don't have the Leave It To Me card, that is okay. You can give Kurosame a Fist weapon. Actually, there's only, no, you really can't do that. Hmm. You could delay Kurosame until after Esther, that way the, the Sword in Peril is up. But that will maybe break the chain. Kurosame really wants to be clicked first because of the way his frames work. Um, we're getting stat buff, mirage removal, break, and mitigation removal from Yigni. And then uh, Kurosame and Carton are just DPS. And then Esther, at EX2, Esther auto buffs 250% LB damage to the party, which is important for Tifa and Kurosame. All right, so the gear used, 
Um, Carton is basically naked. I, I'm not, not Carton. Kaito. Uh, I gave him his TMR. I'm not even sure if that matters, but yeah, he's the buffer. Uh, Carton is a double hand fist build uh, with chain cap up, killers versus fairies and dragon. Here's the setup. He's on the Odin Esper on the RN card for the 100% fairy killer. 250 to both killers. Uh, Esther is using um, this be this. <coughs> Excuse me. This setup, dragon and fairy killer, just chaining, no LB damage needed. Uh, that way you don't got to entrust her or anything. We gave her Kaito's card because it has high attack power. Uh, high 300 dragon and 200 fairy killer. Um, Yigni is just using his TMR. I don't know if that matters, but yeah. So Yigni, like I mentioned earlier, he has the um, the perfect dispel, break, and stat buff. And then this is a two-part skill, so it eats up two stacks of Mirage per use. So double casting and his four Mirage stacks gone. Carton does the fifth. And then Gemini Enchantment shares all his buffs and boosts the modifiers for the party. Um, Kurosame is just damage using a great sword. Um, you know, LB damage versus uh, those. The Cog card. You know, turn one OTKs are not cheap. Um, next LB, 275 Dragon, 250 Fairy. And then Tifa in the base form is using, um, just, she's using a dual wield build. So LB damage versus fairies and dragon. There we go. Maxed, uh, 275 fairy and 125 dragon. Pretty low on the dragon killer. Um, but okay, there is the clear. And as far as swaps go, um, Kurosame is literally bringing nothing except damage. You can bring any kind of burster you want. Laguna would be a good option. Um, if you don't have Yigni, you could use something like, uh, kind of like Wanderer did. Wanderer had a nice turn one OTK as well, using some different units if you want to see his. Uh, he used uh, Lauren for like um, Barrage and Breaking and Perfect Dispel. I kind of like Yigni a little bit better because he does, he does the stat buffs as well as um, the modifier boost, which boosts up Carton a little bit. It's not that big a deal either way. Um, I think Carton is pretty critical for a turn one OTK. No one else in the game burst nearly as hard as he does on turn one. Um, without Carton, might be possible, but I don't really know. And Kaito, kind of a big deal for the roll compression of basically all the support needed to OTK this boss on turn one. Um, so there it is. Hope it helps. See you guys next time.